So what we're going to report on today, Wallaby Holland have just announced they're going to be redesigning their speed zone area for 2020. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chai YouTube Child Longster Born Book Bill for Theme Park News. Now I said at the Tornado Springs video that I was going to be uploading videos today from uh, Trips Drill, Six Flags Magic Mountain, Journey to Hell, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Freak Nights, and of course the video from Flamingoland as well. However, I'm going to sort of hold off on all of them and just upload this first because some breaking news came out before I was set to edit the Flamingoland video. This is from Wallaby Holland. Now for 2019, we know they've opened RMC on uh, Robin Hood, known as Untamed. Uh, fantastic RMC, the most inversions on any RMC in the world. Um, and just looks fantastic. Um, that new wilderness area replacing the Sherwood Forest area just looks stunning from the vlogs and the pictures, but I know that doesn't do it justice. So I am, you know, I really want to get out there to Europe and especially to Holland to try this out. Now, of course, we didn't know what they were going to do for next year because of the fact they just opened this massive new RMC. However, from, constant, from some concept artwork, we now know what they're going to be doing. Their speed zone area is going to be receiving an upgrade for 2020. Now, that doesn't necessarily include maybe, maybe new rides, but this is going to be like a complete refresh of the area just to give it that TLC that it needs. So if you don't know what's in the speed zone area currently, or what's in the current area, uh, the so-called speed zone area will be shining in new splendour for the coming season. So of course this area of the park is home to the Mega Roller Coaster Goliath, the Free Fall Tower Ride Space Shot, and the overhead attraction Enterprise. And on two featured artworks, there will be uh, there was seen in the area and the attraction in the future having a racetrack redesign. So, for the coming season, a sleek red and white entrance gate will embody the beginning of the speed zone area and in the subject area itself, guardrails are located on the edge of the paths. And also, the children's free fall tower, Space Kids, receives a workshop design with the word service station at the top of the tower. Wolby Holland is working with the Leisure Expert Group to redesign the speed zone area, which was also responsible for transforming Sherwood Forest into wilderness and in the long term, a park area is to be re redesigned every year. So they're pretty much doing what Wallaby Belgium is doing in their master plan, which is refurbishing areas. Now, we talked about in an earlier video from Belgium that for 2020, they're going to be sort of doing that uh, area where Pulsar is and the flashback log, fl uh, flashback log flume, as well as redesigning the entrance area of the park. So it's nice to see Wallaby Holland doing the same thing here and doing a redesign of their speed zone area to give it that racetrack feel. So I think with this area, you saw a couple of the concepts together on screen. Uh, I do believe that Goliath, I think, will receive a repaint. I think that we could see a repaint of Goliath and maybe a new sign just to give it that new design. Uh, now the Space Kids Tower will be rethemed as well. And Enterprise, I'm sure, will get a brand new paint job as well. And the Space Shot Tower, uh, the Free Fall Tower Space Shot, will also get a new paint job as well. I am predicting new paint jobs uh, for the big rise. And of course, Space Kids getting that new service station sign uh, as well to give it that new theme. Uh, so again, it should be pretty cool. Maybe we'll get a new name for the Free Fall Tower, the Space Shot. Or maybe Enterprise will get a new name. Uh, Space Kids, I'm sure, will get a new name. Uh, and hopefully maybe Goliath will stay as it is and just get that new racetrack feel for it. So it's good to see Speed Zone getting a new racetrack theme. I think they're going to go along sort of the Ducati World or the Ferrari Land kind of route where they sort of give it that full race car treatment. Uh, but you saw from the concept images that I put together on screen at the same time, um, hope you like the artwork by the way. It does look pretty cool, the artwork. That was a courtesy of Wallaby Holland. And I think it does look fantastic, doesn't it? So it's a good children's area. Well, not really children's area, but it's a good overall area upgrade. So it's good to see the rides are going to be getting refreshed and sort of changed up a bit just to get that racetrack uh, theme into it. And of course, it's good to see Goliath getting some work done as well. Because of course, recently they did... Now, this is why I'm a bit curious to if they're going to go for another repaint of it or not. Because of course, recently in the last couple of years, uh, they did repaint Goliath. It was like a greenish colour before and it's sort of recently been like a really navy blue colour in terms of track 
Um, so, because they did that about three, two, three, four years ago. Um, so, it's interesting to see if they're going to repaint it again. Uh, I'm guessing maybe the navy blue was just to make the chap look nice until a permanent uh, repaint or a permanent retheme job will come into it. So I'm guessing this new racetrack theme with the speed zone area will be the brand new uh, sort of retheme to it. But like we said, the long term plan is to have a new redesigned area every year. So I think Wallaby Holland are going to be on the right tracks here, as is Wallaby Belgium. So hopefully Wallaby Rowan Alpes will follow in the same footsteps. Uh, like they're doing with the Mystic Coaster, the Gursai Eurofi uh, Infinity Coaster uh, with the Spike element, and also what they're going to be doing with the surrounding area of that, with that uh, sort of celebration feel uh, to that area, with the uh, Skrunex Tower being rethemed uh, into the Totem to surround the Mystic area. They're sort of doing a good job with that rethemed area this year. Now it's open, uh, so. I would like to see Ron Alpes sort of do like a redesign of the, an area every year, kind of like what Wallaby Belgium and Wallaby Holland are going to be doing. So I am definitely excited. Of course, Wallaby Belgium got some big projects coming up with the 2021 Intamin Mega Coaster. Uh, possibly still with that, uh, it looks to still have that Wild West theme. Um, so we don't know a name for it yet, but hopefully next year will be the year we find out the name for this new Mega Coaster. I'm sure Wallaby Holland's going to have something in the works for 2021 as well. And I'm sure Wallaby Rowan Alpes will have some good stuff in the future as well. So, big year for the Compagnie des Alpes Parks in 2021-2022 with Belgium's Mega Coaster at Wallaby. And of course, Park Asterix in 2022 with their Intamin multi-launch. But thank you very much for watching this theme park news update on Wallaby Holland 2020. So, it's going to have a slightly smaller year. Uh, well, not slightly, but a very small year compared to uh, this year with Untamed. Uh, so it's on, the, it's on the same lines as Belgium, I think. Just refreshing an area. Uh, of course, Belgium are refreshing the entrance area and the flashback sort of area into like a... There's like a seaside kind of theme, if I remember off the top of my head. But it's like the Pulsar area and the flashback log flume will get a re-upgrade as well. And of course, Holland are doing one area instead of two, but it's still around the same lines. Just refreshing an area, giving it a new upgrade with the racetrack themed speed zone. So again, it's around the same lines what they're doing next year. Hopefully Rowan Alpes will come out with a new ride or something for next year, but I'd very much doubt it. I think they'll do it like an upgrade year as well. Thank you very much. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Subscribe to Coast Channel and make sure you click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coast Channel Donksterborn, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video uh, from Flamingo Land very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.